if Bram Sheikh's Mashaba could be forgiven for allowing himself a pat on the back after the way he's galvanised South Africa since taking over as coach. A win away to Sudan in their opening AFCON qualifier, followed by an admirable draw against Nigeria, has restored some credibility to Bafana Bafana in recent weeks. But now comes the crunch, a back-to-back -back double header against surprise qualifying Group A leaders Congo. And Sheikhs has been in the game long enough to know he's achieved nothing yet. It's not a question of expectation. We've got to go and do it out today. It will be important for this team to, to qualify for uh, AFCON 2015. That will serve as a springboard towards the 2018 uh, World Cup. Everybody loves a winner. We want to do best, qualify for this uh, 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 tournaments on offer, then that gives our football dignity and authority that it deserves. Whatever happens in Congo, Bafana cannot question the resources they've been afforded. The team have chartered a plane to cut down on travel time, and although the match itself will be played on an artificial pitch, the players have been preparing for that prospect at the five-star Royal Moran complex in Rustenburg. Whether the pitch is bad, they are also going to play in that pitch. They never play in a different pitch and maybe a level, another level. No, we're playing on the same pitch. What we need to do now is to make sure our players' mental strength is in the right what you call. They must go out there and compete. Forget about all these other things. Those are natural things. We can't change them even if we want to. Youth has once again been given a chance with 17-year-old striker Fargri Lakay among the surprise inclusions. Despite some raised eyebrows, it's a policy that appears likely to remain. I'll be happy to see some of these young players establish themselves, especially in games like this one. I mean, imagine if we're going to bring in a, a new boy, he scores a goal. What does it mean? The future is bright for that boy. So it encourages even those who are not yet in the national team to say, oh, it's possible. It's not about age, but it is about what you offer to make sure that the team succeeds. If South Africa can come through these next two games relatively unscathed, then belief in the camp and the country will begin to grow and they'll be in prime position to qualify for Morocco 2015. But the players will also know that they still face that daunting trip to Nigeria in their final qualifier, so they want to wrap it all up before then, and that makes these next two games all the more crucial. Dan Williams, CCTV, Rustenburg.